What's up guys, my name's Tony, and today is the first ever water to plate tutorial. Today we're gonna cook my famous Tony's Teriyaki Salmon with bacon wrapped asparagus. All right guys, what we have here is an Atlantic King Salmon. Again, when handling fish, especially salmon, I would wear gloves just because of that oil on the skin really sticks to your hands and it's hard to get off when you wash them. A uh, way to check and see if your fish is fresh is push down on the skin and make sure the skin bounces back. That lets you know that it's still fresh. Also check the eyes and make sure there's no cloudiness and the gills and make sure they're nice and red. Now we're gonna cut into the fish. I'm gonna pull over another board just so we can flip it on there and get my towel. It's good to always try to keep your blade clean when you cut through your fish, that way you don't get any binding. First thing I like to do is come right behind this pectoral fin and just cut right behind the shoulder. You'll feel that bone when you hit and that's where you wanna be and then you wanna just turn your blade and come right on that bone. Next, we're gonna try and ride the bone all the way down to the tail. That way we keep a lot of meat on one side and we don't run into having too much meat left on the bone. As you can hear, kind of a popping sound. That's us breaking through those uh, bones that I'll show you how to get rid of later. When you get down to the tail, make sure to turn up and pop that out the skin. Look at that good filet. And we kept it real nice to the bone. We got up a little bit here, but right here you can see it's a clear, clean cut and we're ready for the other side. Another good thing about these knives, this is a bubble blade knife, is that having a large I think this is a nine inch, nine inch size. Let make sure I get all the way through the fish and I don't have to make multiple, multiple strokes. This right here is a flexible knife too, so I can bend down and get on those bones real nice and close. We're gonna bring our slab back over. There's real bones that go right across the front of the fish. What we're gonna do is try to get under there, push up and get those rib bones out of there without getting rid of any meat. This is really good. Again, like I said, I have a family. And so with my two year old son, it's really good to get these bones out of there so he doesn't choke because he's not very good at picking through them. Next, what I like to do is a little cleanup job. Right here where that dorsal fin was, you can come and you can push right down there and kind of separate that skin all the way down. And then I just come and take that piece off because we don't want any type of bones or any hard cartilage in our food. The next step is to go ahead and cut off some of this belly fat or what a lot of people say a belly tag. And it's also getting rid of that bottom fin down there. All right, next thing I wanna to move to is pulling out these pin bones. They really run all the way down, almost to about the tail area, and then they go away. So what you can do is grab a nice set of pliers or tweezers either way. And you can come in and you can just pull those bones right out the meat. So I'm gonna go through and do this real quick. You can use your hand and just kind of feel where they are, and then come in and pinch them, and they pull out real easy. All right, now that we got all the pin bones out, we're ready to pull off the skin. What I like to do is flip my fish away from me so you cut away. You can make a little incision here. You'll lose a little bit of meat, but it gives you a good place to grip on. And what you wanna do again, with a nice flexible knife, come down and just really try to keep that pressure down, angle straight so that you can get that off the, the meat off the skin. There we go. Again, with a nice sharp knife, it's not much meat left on there and you can get the meat right off that skin. Toss that. Now it's time to cut through and get our portions ready for our meal. So what I like to do, I have pretty big hands, but I usually do four fingers and then I just cut straight through the meat and that gives me a nice portion. And I do this all the way down the fish. Cool thing about salmon, it's one of the best fish to freeze. So if you cut and you get your portions, you can always put them in a nice bag, get all the air out, throw it in the freezer and bring it back out for a different time. Now that we have our portions cut, it's time to move on to the recipe. What we have here is some hoisin sauce, teriyaki, soy, sesame seed oil, and vinegar. And then we mix all that in a bowl with brown sugar and mix it up real nice. We'll get a little bit of uh, olive oil, and sprinkle it on our pan. I like to put tin foil down over my pan just because it keeps clean up a lot easier. And then, you know, when you have kids, it's a lot easier to just Throw it in the dishwasher and be done. <laughs> so we'll do that, soak it, pull it out, and then lay it right. Let some of those drippings come off. Lay it right on our pan. 
We'll do that to every piece. All right, now that we have our salmon on a pan and it's all seasoned, let's move over to asparagus. So pull this over. There's a couple ways I like to do this. One way is you can take to try to get rid of that woody side, you know, the part that you hate chewing into. You can bend and right where it breaks is what you want to get rid of. Another way to do it is just take a knife and you can grab a multiple. And this is the Bubba Blade Chef knife. It's super sharp so you can cut through multiple of these at once. Come down and just push down and get right through the woody parts. So I'm gonna clean these up before we put them on the pan. Now that we have all these cut, we'll grab some of our bacon and start wrapping. Again, the reason I use bacon on this is because the fat actually does a good job of giving nice flavor to the asparagus, as well as who doesn't like bacon. And then I like to add each one onto our pan. Again, and something that's really cool about this recipe, you can do all of this in one single pan at the same temperature and about, about around the same time. Then we preheat the oven to 400 degrees and put everything in for about 20 minutes. We'll stop halfway through though, and then we'll put more sauce onto our salmon and then sprinkle on a little Parmesan onto our asparagus. Now that we got this out the oven, we're gonna plate and hopefully enjoy this meal. One thing we did on the side, cooked a little rice. Best way to do this is just put it right at the bottom. I usually do two scoops. Then what we'll wanna do is get our salmon, get a nice piece, come up under it, lay that right on top. After that, grab your asparagus with your bacon wrapped on it in Parmesan, and you'll just plate that. I'm a big guy, so I usually like two pieces, or I guess I say two bundles. Set the table, get the family in, and enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. This is the first ever water to plate tutorial. Again, this is Tony's Teriyaki Salmon with bacon wrapped asparagus. Make sure you guys post online and use hashtag water to plate and show us your recipes.